I want to present to you the time on the hour card work. Um, as you see, I have an analog clock in front of me and it features three sets of hands on its face. It has the short, thick hour hand that points to the hour of the day. It has the long, thin minute hand that points to the minute of the hour. And this, not all clocks have it, it's called the second hand. And this is kind of how it works. This second hand has to travel all the way around to the top to make the minute hand travel only one space. And this minute hand has to travel all the way around the clock to get the hour hand to move up one number. And we are going to be doing time on the hour. So let's just wait just a second here. Ooh. <laughs> we're gonna start, we're gonna watch the second hand travel one time around, watch. Okay, keep an eye on the minute hand. You'll see that the minute hand slowly moves to the next minute. You see the minute hand slowly traveling? Well, even slower yet is the hour hand. It is almost up straight to this dark line, which was marking 10 o'clock. Okay, we'll wait till that second hand gets up to the 12. That is one minute. One minute has passed. All right. When I do the card work, remember we have mute cards and we have the labels and we have the correction cards. And when I do card work uh, with the clocks, I like to start on one o'clock. So what I'm looking for is one o'clock. And this one says eight o'clock because remember the short hand points to the hour and the long thin minute hand points to the minute and no minutes have been used of this hour. So this is eight o'clock, two o'clock, 11 o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock, one o'clock, that's the one I wanted. Let's see, I'm gonna make sure I keep everything in line. There we go. All right, one o'clock. So now we're looking for two o'clock. And we read them as we go. 10 o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock, 12 o'clock. Uh oh, that makes me hungry. I think of lunch when I think of 12 o'clock. Nine o'clock. Three o'clock, seven o'clock, five o'clock, 11 o'clock, two o'clock, I found it. Okay, two fingers right here. And next we're gonna look for three o'clock. So I just stack them up again, start reading again. Eight o'clock, 11 o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock, Three o'clock, oh, found it. And now, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock we're looking for. Nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, four o'clock. What comes after four? Five. <laughs> Six o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, seven o'clock, 
Five o'clock, I found it. All right, let's have room for the next card. What comes after five? Six. I knew you knew it. 11 o'clock, eight o'clock, seven o'clock, 10 o'clock, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, six o'clock. I like the look of six o'clock because it's straight up and straight down. Makes it interesting. Okay, and the next number after that must be seven, right? Okay, so it's not 12, it's not nine, 10, seven, yay! Eight o'clock, look at that, right there next. All right, there's gotta be a nine o'clock. There it is! I like it when you get down to the last three because they're so easy to find. And then what comes after nine? Why, it would be 10 o'clock. And then we have 11 o'clock. And then finally 12 o'clock. All right, those are gonna be a little bit over. All right, and then we read and label. Eight o'clock, two o'clock. <laughs> That's upside down. So I'll be turning that one over. Nine o'clock, three o'clock. There it is. <laughs> Seven o'clock, where are you? Seven o'clock. There you are. Seven o'clock. One o'clock. Ten o'clock. There it is. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Six o'clock. Twelve o'clock. 11 o'clock and five o'clock. All right, now we're gonna do the correction with the correction cards. If you find any mistakes, this is the time to fix them. So this one says eight o'clock and you wanna look at, <clears throat> I'm gonna scooch things over a little so you can see a little clearer. As I say, I don't usually move cards around when I'm presenting but I know the camera only has so much view, so I wanna move it. So when, um, let's say I lined this up and I had actually put nine o'clock here, I would check it and I would say, that is not the right number. Where is that number, eight o'clock? Oh, here it is. And I would trade it out like that. There are many times when I have new card work that I've bought and <laughs> there, or I just haven't done it in a very long time and it names something, oh, like all the flags of the world and I'm not sure, I guess. Two o'clock, they're the same. And then I use the correction cards and we are always so pleased that we get some right. Five o'clock is correct. Seven o'clock is correct. is correct. 10 o'clock is correct. 4 o'clock. Correct. 6 o'clock. 
12 o'clock. 9 o'clock. And 3 o'clock. All right. Once you have them matched, along with this came this blank um, PDF. And you need two of them, and you are going to uh, make the hands on the clock and write the number at the bottom. Now, putting hands on the clock is a little tricky. What I like to do is use two different numbers. So the hour hand is usually red when I do this work. And I will show you how I create this. So I look where it is on this piece of work and it's right there pointing to the one. So I put my pencil there and I draw back to the dot and then I put my pencil at the tip of the line and draw back, draw back, and that creates the point. I have found through my many, many years of teaching that this is the best way to present how to make the hands on the face of a clock. So same with the 12, I wanna to touch the 12 with my minute hand and draw back to the dot. Touch the tip, draw back, draw back. All right. When you write the time, it's kind of fun to do it this way. Since the hour hand was this pencil, I'm gonna make an hour hand and I'm gonna put the colon here. And since this color was the minute hand, I'm gonna write how many minutes of the hour have been used. One, so we have zeros, one, two zeros, because we haven't used any minutes at all. Now, you can go through the work and have fun and change the hour hand color every time and the minute hand color every time, or you can just be very serious and keep it the same all the way through. Depends upon how you feel like doing the work today. I like telling time on the hour because there's so many times on the hour that are important in my day. You're gonna love this. I wake up every day at five o'clock in the morning and I we start school at nine o'clock and we eat lunch at 12. And if you are a full day student, <laughs> you go home at three. So that is kind of the hours that I keep track of my day with. Those are my important hours. I wonder what your important hours are. Maybe you can tell me when we have one of our meetings which hours you like best in the day. Enjoy your time on the hour work.